In this episode of Real Talk, I'm interviewing Lainey about what it was like to have foster kids in the house. How old were you when we became foster parents? I was six years old. You were six? Mm -hmm. And do you remember, did we have a conversation about being foster parents to you? You told I so a commercial came on when we were just listening to the radio about uh, foster parenting and mom told me oh hey do you hear what they're talking about foster care we're gonna do that okay and were you excited about us being foster parents or were you nervous or how were you feeling about us being foster parents I was actually really excited because I like was like yay there's more people in the house more people to pay attention to me more friends and people to play with and all that so I was excited so what age groups were you hoping that we would foster I think I was probably hoping for someone around my age because when I'm the youngest and I always had older siblings who never wanted to play with me. So I was hoping that we would get like a six or seven year old who would want to play with me. And what did we end up getting? <laughs> Teenagers. Teenagers. <laughs> who at first Kiana would play with me and then she got bored of it after like two weeks and then I was back to square one. There you go. So tell me some things that you liked about us being foster parents. I liked the big, big family. I liked having more siblings. I enjoyed the way it impacted our family. I felt like I didn't know something was missing, but I feel like once we started fostering, like, I don't know, something, it was complete all of a sudden. So I liked that. I liked having extra siblings, like I said before, just more people to goof around with. It made the family more like um, diverse. How do you say that word? Diverse. Diverse. There you go. <laughs> um, so were there any things that you didn't like about us being foster parents? Uh, so something I didn't like about us being like a foster family was that, so during the first placement, it was pretty much all good. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. But then during the second one, it wasn't even something I didn't like. It was just something that would change. So during our second placement, we got two people who were actually around my age that time. So I was excited for that. But we had this boy and we got the boy was actually in my class already. And he was in my class. I never really talked to him in class, but he was. This was when I was in fourth grade. And he came to our house, and as soon as he came and started living with us, all of a sudden he started talking to me at cl in class, but it wasn't nice. He was being super mean to me, and he started, like, bullying me. And so that just, like, kind of, like, upset me because, like, I didn't do anything to him, but he would do that. And then there was a girl, and she was a year younger than us. And once he calmed down, she started being mean to me. So it was just... Like people, they were being, I, we brought these people and these kids into our house just for them to be mean to me. And they were mean to me. And then they had an older sister. I think she was in sixth grade. I'm not really sure. Uh, but she would, we didn't like each other from the start. There was like no reason. We just didn't get along. So I would say that second placement, it was just hard when they were mean to me for no reason. And we were like bringing them into our home and they just took out all their anger on me. So that was kind of hard. But at the same time, like, they became some of my best friends. I still talk to this girl to this day. I was actually texting her earlier. So we still talk. So I made more, like, relationships and friendships with people. And there was a lot of times where we did have good times, me and... Uh, so the oldest, she ended up leaving early, but... With the two that were, like, close to my age, like, we all ended up being friends. We'd go to the creek together. We'd hang out. We would just play together. And so there was a lot of good that came out of it, even though sometimes they were mean to me and sometimes we didn't get along. After it kind of, like, toned down to them not being mean to me constantly, we actually, like, got along a lot and were close friends. So how did um, mom handle it when they were mean? Like, did she take your side every time or, or how did that, how was that? So when it was the boy who was in my class, uh, 
my teacher actually got involved and realized he started being mean to me and she had a talk with him. So I don't really think you or mom got involved with that one. When the girl was being mean to me, uh, she, it was like stuff that was like really bad of her being mean to me. So I think it was more of you getting mad and kind of like getting frustrated and being like, you can't do that to my daughter. But it wasn't like taking sides. Like if I was mean to them, you guys punished me for it. But if they were mean to me, you punished them for it. Because it wasn't like you were taking a side. It was just you were doing Was the punishment the same though? No. Was the punishment worse for you or easier for you? I'm not really sure. It was kind of like if they got in trouble, it would just be kind of like a talk. With me, it would be either something was taken or like a long talk and like an actual like serious like you can't do this. But with them, it was more of just like a you need to be nice to her. How did that make you feel? I and I liked that they were still getting punished for being mean to me rather than them just being mean to me and getting away with it. I pro I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure it probably upset me that they got in less in trouble, even though they like they were the ones being mean to me more. They got punished less than I would if I did like one thing. Okay, so. Overall, do you think this was a good experience or a bad experience? Like, do you, if you were to be able to relive your entire life again, would you, would you do this? Would you have us be foster parents or would you have us not be foster parents and what and why? Yeah, I would definitely have us still be foster parents uh, because a lot, a lot of good came out of it. I actually think it made me the person who I am today and it made me have a big passion because just like you I'm passionate about foster care um and so I think that it was good I would definitely have us be foster parents again even though there were foster, a foster family again even though there were some bumps in the road and there were some times where it wasn't so great I think the good that came out of it was worth it we do a lot of respite yes so is respite different than having uh foster kids in the house because technically they are foster kids but they're like we've had respite for a few days, we've had respite for a week. Uh, does that, from from your perspective, is that different or is it the same? Definitely different. Um, because with respite, it's not long-term. Usually when we respite it, like when we did respite, it was different age groups. So when we foster, we usually did, I don't really know what our age thing is, but it was like to like, from like, Teenagers. It was like teenagers, and I think we did like third to teenagers, whatever, which we changed when we got our second placement. But like when we did respite, we would do babies and toddlers, which was really fun to just experience that other age group. Uh, did we ever do respite for older kids? Oh, yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. That I remember um, one in particular. Uh, it was kind of different because it depended on the age group. Uh, sometimes the kids, when they went into respite, we had kids who were super excited to be here. Uh, they felt like we were like their second home uh, and they were like super excited to come and they were just happy here. And then we also had a, a respite placement once who was not happy to be here at all. And I just think it's different because when it's respite, you can just enjoy them for the little bit of time and like spoil them or whatever. And then you just send them back. But when it's a long placement, you have to have rules in place and stuff. So it's kind of like babysitting versus having your own child. Babysitting might be super fun because you can just spoil them and whatever. But if, when it's your actual child, you have to set in like discipline and stuff. So I think that respite was a lot easier to do than and like easier to be a part of but I liked both and sometimes I wish that we could keep our respite placements for longer so yeah then um one other question so from your perspective mm -hmm. do you think it's better to have long-term placements that are younger than you or older than you or do you think it doesn't matter um, like long-term placements? So 
just a normal foster child, which you don't know. They may be here a week. They may be here two years. You, you never know. So just assuming you, do you think that, that does the age matter or, or what, how do you feel about that? I'm not really sure uh, how I do feel about that because I think that with every different age comes a different struggle and a different like positive to it. So I liked having older because I got to stay the baby of the family. But then also I liked when I had kids around my age because it was more people to play with. And so it was, I just had a friend, like a built-in friend there all the time. So I think it really depends where all the ages of your kids were. So it made sense for us to get older placements at first because the majority of your kids were older. And then with our second placement, I mean, that was all of a sudden, that wasn't even, we weren't even planning to get them. But I think it just, it depends on how you are as a person, how your family is and how like everybody feels about it. Cause I think it didn't really matter the age for me. It was just different for every single different age. Did you ever feel like that mom and I neglected you because we had to spend so much time with the foster children. We all know that foster children require mm -hmm. more time. So uh, did you ever feel neglected? Did you ever feel unloved? Or did you feel like we didn't care about you? No, I never felt that way. Um, I don't know, maybe other bio kids might have like felt that way before, but I don't know, I felt like if I, maybe sometimes with our second placement, I would feel like I didn't get as much attention just cause they were around my age. So they kind of like required around the same amount of like. Right. Yeah, but like, like the same amount of like focus or whatever. But like, I don't know. I feel like you guys like made it so that we could all have the amount we needed. So I don't, I don't think so. For all these people that are thinking about possibly becoming foster parents, what would you say from your perspective to them about, you know, what advice would you give them with regards to their own children, their bio children? Uh, just talk to them about the situation to remind them that if you are giving your foster kids more attention, then just remind them of why and just tell them, give, I think, even the reason I'm not affected by it so much is because when you did give them more attention, you explained to me why. And you explained to me that it was because they needed more attention. And you reminded me, you got, you have a mom and dad to go to home to every night. You have your own bed to sleep in every night. They're in a new house, new home, new people. And just like reminding me that. So just remind your, your bio kids why your foster kids are getting more attention uh, if they are, which they probably will because they need more attention and just explain to them and let them know the reasonings of it. I also think having days and like letting your, fo your foster kids go to respite, not only is it a break for you and a break for them, it's also a time for your bio kids to just be able to just hang out with you guys and just like to have like a bio family day where you just get just like use respite uh because not only do does it help you out but people who want to do respite but may not want a placement at the moment it's actually so much fun for them too so it's not like a burden on anyone because i know some foster parents might think oh i can't do respite because of that but it actually like the people who do respite actually really enjoy it so use respite and make sure you spend quality time with your bio kids so that they still know that they're important to you even if they don't get as much attention anymore. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So if you enjoyed this content, please subscribe. I'm constantly updating videos just like this to help foster parents become better foster parents and for potential foster parents to understand what foster parenting is like.